Welcome to All Time Performance. As you can tell by the title of this video, we have some exciting news to go over. But before we jump into that, I want to address a few things about the channel. As a lot of you guys that have been here since the beginning know, I have not been making any content in the last probably two years. And I want to address some of the reasons why that is. First, I was one of the founders of a new business called Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. It's a dealership that does consignment and we do purchase vehicles to sell. We specialize in collectible type vehicles like anything from a 70 Chevelle to a C8 Z06. So we have a wide variety of inventory. If you guys are interested in checking that out, you can go to collectiblemotorcaroflanta.com. We also have a YouTube channel there. We've got close to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, a lot of really cool content over, over there on that channel. We do a ton of videos on a variety of different vehicles. So if you guys like a wide range of vehicles, definitely recommend checking that out. But back to my channel. I have been absent due to building a business and having a child. Uh, I've got a three-year-old son. Well, he's about to be three in December. Uh, his name is Levi Cash. As you get dads out there know, once you have a child, sometimes your hobbies get put on the back burner. But it was mainly the mixture of two, having a child and starting a business. I've been extremely focused on the business, trying to grow it and get it going. And when you start a business from scratch, it's a lot of work, a lot of hours. And then, like I said, we have a YouTube channel over there that I was trying to build and, and do things with it. And we're finally getting to the point where that is doing pretty well to where I can focus on some other things. So I want to start focusing on my YouTube channel, see if I can't grow it. So we'll be doing content on a variety of things. I might do some content there at the dealership over some cars that we get there. I'm also going to be doing some content on my new vehicle that we're about to get to here shortly. I also just purchased a new pickup truck that we'll be doing some modifications on as well, guys. So a wide variety of content coming your way. But guys, let's dip into the vehicle that I just recently purchased. As you guys might see back here behind me, that silhouette there, if you guys can tell what that is, it's a fifth gen Camaro. This is a car that I purchased for the dealership, uh, but it did not last long. As soon as it came in, I seen it, I test drove it. I realized this was a car that I wanted to own personally. This car was an R&D car for Vengeance Racing down here in Cumming, Georgia. The, uh, just give a really quick background on it. The car uh, came right off the trailer and went straight to Vengeance. The cool thing about this car, it was the shop owner or the shop manager's father's vehicle. He bought the car right off the truck at the Chevrolet dealership and immediately brought it to Vengeance Racing for them to get started on it. Like I mentioned, this was the research and development car for Vengeance Racing. So they started off uh, doing some just light mods like a cam, ported blower, headers, a couple of bolt-on stuff like you would typically imagine on a brand new car. Not a ton of parts out for it, but it is an LS motor. So there was definitely stuff already out on the market that would work for it. So they did those things to it. Uh, then about two years later, he got used to the power level and he brought it back to Vengeance to have more extensive work done to it. Uh, had the motor completely built. It's a 416 stroker with all forged bottom end. We'll go over all the detail stuff later on in another video, but I mainly just want to introduce the car to you guys. So enough of me sitting here in this chair talking. Let's go ahead and get to the good stuff.
All right, guys, here is the 2012 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. This is the king of all the Camaros, not all the models, but of this generation. The ZL1 was the top dog. Uh, this is one wicked car. This car was built by Vengeance Racing here in Georgia. It was actually their R&D car, the one that they did all their first mods to when this car first came out. Give you a little bit of background on this car before we move forward. This car was actually purchased by the father of the shop manager at Vengeance Racing, bought it right off the truck, took it straight to Vengeance. They did a head and cam package on it um, and a tune and he rocked it like that and then he brought it back in i believe about two years later and did a full build on it 416 stroker motor all forged bottom in uh, ported blower 150 shot of nitrous uh, a few other goodies there that we can go over in a later video it's got a mighty mouse catch can there rotofab intake um, overall a very very nice build as you can tell the exterior does have some upgraded upgrades on it it does have four star wheels uh, has some arrow on it as well it's got the zl1 add-ons rear spoiler there looks really good gives it an aggressive look also you have the front lip here as well on the car definitely gives it a mean look the badging on the car has been blacked out. I did not have time to do the front ZL1 yet, but that is definitely coming. I'll probably just wrap it. I did do some light lighting upgrade as well. I uh, did the mod where the fog lights and the daytime running lights will stay on at the same time. I also have the upgraded marker lights with the LED strip in it. Uh, looks really nice at nighttime. The entire car does have paint protection film. I planned on driving this car when I bought it. Um, I haven't had a chance to drive it much, been super busy with work, but the plan is to drive the car. So I had full paint protection on the entire car put on there to protect it. It makes it look really nice and you don't really have to worry about rock chips or anything like that. The film can still get nicks in it, but you just take it back and have it redone if it bugs you. Um, but let's look at the interior here. The interior is mostly stock. The only thing that was added is uh, this car was built to be able to do multiple things. You could autocross it or take it to the drag strip. So the red thing over there by the shifter is actually for the parachute. Um, this car does have a parachute mount behind the license plate. Uh, but this car is a fully loaded ZL1. It's got the sunroof. It does have the carbon here on the hood. So that was pretty much the main options there uh, that you could get. You could opt in for the carbon fiber on the hood and the sunroof. This car does have the Alcantara steering wheel as well. But overall, guys, a very nice car. I am planning on doing some more videos on this car. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is I did black out the rear taillight bezels and the exhaust on this car is the stock cat back MPP exhaust, but does have the Cook's headers and mid pipe on it. Um, but overall, one badass car. This car did make with the nitrous. It put down a little under 1,100 horsepower to the wheels. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was 1,054, I believe. And then after I had the fuel mods done to it, the car put down 820 wheel horsepower with the E85. So plenty of horsepower for a street car. It's definitely fast. These cars are heavy but this car really works well it hooks really good um if i get the tire warm with the right air pressure even with these big 20s on there um, i can get the car to hook pretty good in first gear um, but this thing is an absolute blast to drive we'll definitely do some more videos in the future i just wanted to get back involved with the channel like i said earlier at the beginning of the video i've been very busy with life uh, i've got a three-year-old now um, and i'll start putting him in some of the videos he is an absolute hoot um, and i started a business collectible motor car of atlanta and i've been extremely busy trying to build that business uh, but now i'm kind of getting to a point to where i want to get back to doing some videos on youtube and documenting my journey with this car like i said in the future we're going to do some drive videos show you what this car can do maybe some racing if i can find someone local to race down here in coming georgia which there's some pretty fast cars down here i'm sure i can find someone to race against i'd like to find someone with a hellcat see what this thing will do against that similar horsepower and similar weight there um, but overall 
very very nice car i'm pumped about it i love this car like i said i've driven a ton of cars doing what i do for work and this is an amazing car guys absolutely a blast to drive but let's go ahead and wrap up this video guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and be ready for more content